the attachment system in Siege isn't really that complicated, until you include the fact that every operator has their own unique guns and their own recoil patterns. So I can imagine for a newer player trying to figure out what attachment you should be using on this specific gun can be very challenging. So in this video, I'm going to help you try to narrow down what attachment you should be using on specific guns. But first, let me explain what every attachment does in Siege. The optics in Siege only affect how far you can see. For example, this is a 3x scope, so this is the furthest I can see with a scope. The ACOG sight is a 2.5 sight, so I can see less, but I still see pretty far. The 2x is obviously less than the ACOG, but I think it's still good, and this is personally my favorite sight in the entire game. But the fan favorite among the community is the 1.5, because yes, it is less than the other sights I have mentioned, but it is good for long range and close range engagements, which the ACOG and the 3x sight aren't really good for close range, only long range. If you only want to have close range engagements, you could rock with a 1x sight, and there are plenty of options for you to choose. One thing you have to know about the sights is they're not really consistent, because one gun has a 2x scope doesn't mean they'll have a 2 times on a different gun. A good example is Wamai's MP5K has a 1.5 sight, but Bandit's MP7 does not have a 1.5 at all. There's also a rule with the sights. If it has a 3x scope, for example, it will have access to every other sight below it. But if it only has up to a 2x sight, it will also have a 1.5 sight. An example being Sophia's AR. Because she has up to a 2x sight, she also has a 1.5. Now while you're playing the game, you're going to notice some guns have more recoil than others. And thankfully, no matter what gun you're using, they're going to have attachments to help with the recoil. The first type of recoil attachments are the vertical grip and the angled grip. The vertical grip is the one you're going to want to go for here, because it helps recoil across the board and it just generally makes everything easier for you. However, the angled grip does not help with recoil at all. The only benefit it gives you is that you can have a quicker ADS speed. However, it did receive an ADS nerf, so it's not all that much faster to the vertical grip now. However, now we're talking about the barrel attachments, which are pretty easy to learn. The flash hider is the one you use for vertical recoil. The compensator only reduces the horizontal recoil of your guns. The muzzle brake reduces the kick of a gun during single fire, so this is really good for pistols and handguns. The suppressor makes your guns basically silent, so literally what it does in every other game. If you're a returning player to seize, the suppressor no longer reduces the damage of your gun. So, the only thing that it really affects is the sound of your gun and your recoil. Finally, for the extended barrel, it reduces the damage drop-off and increases your base damage by 12%. With that damage increase, the Para 308 that you can find on Brava and Capito and IQ's 552 Commando and Grimm's can do 52 damage. And these are the only two guns I would recommend you run the extended barrel on, because in terms of recoil, they have some of the lowest in the game, and these are their only guns that do 50 damage. In terms of what barrel attachment you should be running on your guns, that all depends on the gun, obviously. But I can give some recommendations on popular operators. Slash's LA pretty much only has vertical recoil, so you're going to be running Flash Hider and Vertical Grip. I'm barely pulling down on my mouse, that's how easy it is. Ayana's and Ash's G3 pretty much only has vertical recoil as well, so you're going to be running Flash Hider. Osa's PDW has more horizontal recoil than vertical, so for the vertical recoil, run the vertical grip, obviously, and the compensator. Barely has any recoil with a 50 round mag, because that is balanced. Habana's Type 89 has a lot of horizontal recoil, so run compensator. Yeah, with the compensator, it makes a big difference, trust me. Oryx's and Legion's T5 basically has no recoil when it comes to vertical, so run the flash hard. And uh, it's, it's easy mode with this gun, I'm going to be honest. Jaeger's gun specifically has received a lot of nerves, including its recoil. But even after all of that, if you run the right attachments, that being the vertical grip and flash rider, it doesn't really have that much kick. As you can see in the first few billets, it did have a little bit more horizontal. So if you struggle with that, then obviously run the compensator, but I personally run the flash rider. Now, what I don't see a lot of people using is the compensator on the SMG-11. Now, as you can see, it does have a little bit more vertical to the beginning, but at the end, it's just straight up horizontal. And the vertical is pretty easy to control after that. And that's why I use Compensator on SMG-11, because once you learn the vertical, then it is just easy mode, and honestly, the gun is kind of broken. Now, unfortunately, those are the only operators I'm going to talk about, because if I try to talk about every operator's loadout, then this video is probably going to be an hour long. And I wanted to make this video as quick as possible to try to help the newer players understand what the recoil attachments are. 
as you play the game, you'll understand what guns need what attachments. And after that, it's a pretty easy concept to learn. So if I helped you out in this video by any means, I would appreciate it if you subscribe because it does help the channel out a lot. And with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and say at this end of the video, I hope you have a good day or good night and goodbye.